Sully. As far as a uh, bouncing back goes after speaking last week, that's uh, quite a way to do it. Quite a brilliant performance, a big scout. What did you make of the, the day as a whole? Yeah, it was a good day. I think uh, the only light to it was the injuries we got. I thought at one point we were going to have to call the game off. I spoke to their manager just after half time. I think they were in the same boat as well. Um, so that's my only downside. But in terms of the football, uh, some great goals, some great play. Uh, the lads bounced back fantastically well. And they deserved their win. I was going to say, talking of bouncing back and players doing well, uh, just spoke to you a little bit off camera. Has Luca just walked his way into your squad next week, or is it a bit different than that? No, no, listen, he, he's got a lot to do. Uh, just because he scored two worldy goals doesn't mean he starts. Um, you know, off the ball, he's still going to do better. He's flicking and farting around with the ball. So, in, you know, as good as he is on the ball, because he is a fantastic football player and he's a great talent, but he has to do the other side of it. As, as you've seen today, as good as his goals were, at times the ball bounced back off him and doing the things in the wrong area. So, all I'm asking for is to keep them standards, buy into what the team's doing, because on the ball, he's fantastic. So, I'm um, uh mentioned from the start of pre-season to now, have you seen an improvement in, in your lads sort of thing ready for this the season kick-off next week? No, no. I knew what I brought in. Uh, I knew the characters, I knew the ability, I knew sort of... The tech end of us is there now. I think they're starting to understand the game a little bit better in terms of man managing the games themselves rather than me. Still nowhere near red, no, sorry, sorry, nowhere, near red. nowhere near sort of the finished article. Nobody is. Um, we've got to go back now Tuesday again. Instead of training, I'm going to have to have them in doing yoga or Pilates or massage, whatever it is, to get them back out to the Buxton game. And that leads into a good week. Um, you know, they've all put a performance in really where now, whereas last Saturday, you probably could have said, well, look, I can name a starting 11. Whereas today, they've turned around and they've made a little bit of heading. So, but I know, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, they've just got to implement it, keep fit, uh, and be, uh, as I said before, we can't be complacent. I don't, I don't fear no team, no manager, uh, no budget. All I fear is complacency for my own team. These headaches that we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks, obviously they're very welcome headaches for yourself. Um, are you any closer to finalising that squad that we mentioned for next Saturday? Well, I was until before the game. You know, you know Raheem had a big blow in the week. He was injured. Uh, Joe Cummins has broke down again. Um, who else come off injured? John. John. John was struggling a little bit, but you know Andy come on and did fantastic. So it's one of them. We just get on with it. Curtis was ill today. Caius was injured. Uh, Rain was injured. Uh, you know, I thought. Me and Tom might have had to go on a little, little 10 minutes, but listen, I appreciate Jamie. He's been helping us um, throughout his pre-season with teams they played against. So I have to give him a massive uh, credit for that. And uh, also, just in case the game did have to get called off, he was willing to do so as well. So I appreciate that as well. Yeah, so I'll finalise on this. So as of next week, nine months of even harder work starts. How excited are you? Nine months of hell, isn't it? That's what I'd say. Nine months of hell, ups and downs. but. Now, as we said, we're not going to get on that emotional roller coaster as we said in pre season. We're just going to go straight through FA Cup, uh, League, FA Trophy, whatever it is. Win, lose, draw, we just keep going consistent all the way through. And at the end of the season, you are where you are. If you deserve to be at the top, you're at the top. If you're down the bottom, that's where you deserve to be.